My goal for the Unreal Bucket has always been simplicity, high quality and asset customizability. Luckily, Unreal Engine offers powerful blueprint system. So let me show you some of my favorite assets from our library. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the Unreal Bucket plugin and let's search for some blueprints. Okay, I'm gonna double click on the thumbnail to see more details, previews, and this particular asset uh, comes with spinning fan shader. So it's a good example. So let's uh, download it. Uh, I'm gonna also open Spotlight. This one comes with some additional uh, mesh meshes like this tripod, some lights. So let's download that too. Um, and finally, I'm gonna find a power strip. Here it is. This asset comes with spline mesh components. It's a really convenient way to manipulate the cord. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And uh, over here on the right, you can see the package size. And this particular asset has been optimized very well. It's so light, so download should be an instant, as you saw. All right, so if the asset has been finished, has finished downloading, you can uh, see this pop-up message. You can click uh, here to navigate to your assets. Uh, let me just uh, close it. Of course, if you miss this pop-up message, you can always go to library and browse uh, as you normally would in content browser. And libraries organize uh, with categories the same uh, as in the plugin. So you can also use, of course, uh, this name. Let's say we want to find the condition air conditioner and I'm gonna press Ctrl B to navigate the folder. All right, so I'm gonna drag and drop it here. And here I have a simple scene setup with some light and ray tracing uh, enabled. So if you head over to details, you can see that we've got hoses, you can change hoses meshes. So actually it's a very convenient way to change it that way so you don't have to position it manually every time you use the asset. And we've got spinning speed parameter. So let me try different values and let's see what happens. We can also use a negative numbers to make the fan spinning in the other direction. And what's cool about this animation uh, is that it uses the material. So let me open a fan spinning material. So you can see it, it uses world position offset. So it's not another mesh component that rotates in every frame. So that's always good. All right, so let me now show you a power strip blueprint. So let me uh, drag and drop it here. And I'm gonna press G on keyboard to actually disable uh, game view mode so I can see uh, spline and its point. So let's select one point and you can actually drag it. I'm gonna hold down Alt key and drag. Uh, so that way you can create a spline. You can also rotate that, sorry. And you can also right click, add spline point here and actually, you know, create your favorite <laughs> setup for, for this spline. All right, so if you are happy with, with this particular setup, you can always uh, go to edit blueprint and create a child blueprint class, so that way you have a template for future projects. So this pack uh, comes with some, you know, presets already. You can use it. What's cool about this asset, uh, it allows you to change the start and end mesh. So for example, let me just change it. Uh, we, we don't see what's happening like this maybe that doesn't make sense but you get the idea you can set up whatever you want uh all right so let me now add the spotlight blueprint that we downloaded so you can see that uh, in the setup panel we can change the rotation and uh, in both axes and just pay attention to the tripod while i'm changing the height parameter you can see it behaves as <laughs> as expected as a, a real life tripod. We can disable the tripod, but I'm gonna leave it for now. And in the lights rollout, you can control uh, the light components that you can uh, find here. So in this particular example, we've got two lights, spotlight and point light. 
point light is used just to illuminate uh, the inner part of the mesh. So we can disable it. Uh, we can change the temperature uh, that uh, controls our light color, or you can specify your you know uh, custom color like this. Of course, there's intensity parameter and some other um, exposed parameters to better use this blueprint. Sometimes in blueprints, there is uh, advanced options. Uh, so by default, it's collapsed or should be collapsed. So you, you have to click on this arrow button, the arrow icon. And in this particular example, we've got volumetric, volumetric scattering intensity. So in order to see what it does, we actually have to uh, drag and drop a fog into our scene. So let me, let me quickly do it. Uh, I'm gonna change the fog density to let's say 0.5. And the final set step would be to enable volumetric fog. Okay, so now if I change the volumetric scattering intensity to let's say 0.2, you see it scatters uh, much less than previous. So, so if you happen to create a duplicate and let's say you have a more orange light, so you can uh, create uh, different variations of, of that uh, parameters in here. All right, guys, so that was a quick demonstration of some of the assets that we uh, have in the Android Bucket library. So feel free to download the plugin, it's free. Uh, we also have lots of uh, free assets for you to, to try the plugin. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.